Welcome back. I just had dinner while the game was paused. We're going to continue. And I was thinking about something while eating. I wonder if the developers of this game and the writers and all that, I wonder what their opinion is on the AI developments in the real world. Well, generative AI, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, something I'm sure they would have conflicting opinions on, much like Athena. Right, so we did this. Here we go. On to the last three gold puzzles, I think. Servitor. No, that's that's not it. That's just because it's fast trouble. Gold puzzles in that direction. Thank you. Thank you, Compass. But yeah. Generative AI, the whole situation with it is a mess. It's uh a lot of people have a lot of opinions. I'm not really pleased with how it's been handled, to be honest. Interesting. We've got all sorts of doodads in this one. <laughs> How curious. Oh, wait. These are... These barriers are in... In these little wall slits. That's a new one. Haven't seen that before. Yeah, so we can either one berry off or the other berry off, but not both. There's a driller in this puzzle somewhere? Oh yeah, there it is. Hmm, how do we want to get started? We have a teleporter. We want to put you on top of here, maybe. We. <laughs> I mean, it looks like we can make that jump almost, doesn't it? Oh, red's right there. I was wondering where that was. Okay. We want to do it that way, though. Hmm. Oh, I didn't see that there. where it stops at. We have a way to get out of there, though. Is there, like, a ladder or something? Still teleport to that, so I just wanted to be a bit more out of the way.
Okay, it doesn't hit the tree. Just wanted to check. Alright, let's get ourselves in here and see what's going on. Um... Wait, what's blocking that? Wait, what? Excuse me? How did I not see that earlier? Did I forget? And I'm trapped in here now. Uh okay. I guess it's my way out of here now. Okay, then. Wait. Oh, what a conundrum. I want that inside or outside. Hmm. this out of there now. And we've got the teleport out of there now as well. Okay. What's the deal with this? Solve this then. Is that all we needed to do? Are we done? I think we need the... Hmm... What are we going to put on there? If we do it like that... Oh, that does work! Oh, I guess we are done then. Okay, we're done. Yay! Alright, that was neat. It was your visions that gave me the final confirmation that I was right. You see, they're not all Athena's memories. Some of them are things Athena was never present for. Those are Miranda's memories, 1K. She's still in there. Ow. A ghost in the machine. And we can save her. If Miranda can be saved, 1K, this matters more than the megastructure. Interesting. Wasn't some guy in this game talking about these things being incredibly stupid? <laughs> I think he was right. Okay then.
Oh, I should have picked one of the later puzzles. This one's gonna be annoying to get to. Uh, yeah, okay. I think we it's faster to go the other way, actually. Where's... Tram's in this direction, okay. I don't think it'll let me fast travel in an area I'm already in, unfortunately. I could try, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't work that way. Yeah, we want to get closer to, like, 6 or something. Yeah, the fast travel system is a bit weird. Okay, this time it rotated without me in it, but like one time when I fast traveled, uh, it rotated in this direction like that, and then the loading screen started and took me to the puzzle, even though this is backwards. But now it's backwards for no reason. <laughs> Why did that happen? This game is a little bit janky, I suppose. But, I love it all the same. Making our way up there. We're almost there. Here we are. Hello. Ultimate goal is way down there. Oh, and those are... Both green? I can't tell the color of the distance one there. This one closest to us is definitely green. That one, I'm not sure if it's green or blue. I think it is green, though. Why would they both be green, though? Oh, a green universal activator. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna need an RGB converter for sure, because we don't see any green emitters in here. Ooh. How curious. That's red. We can actually activate it, but... Yeah, it doesn't really do much of anything for us. Do I need this soul? Yeah, it lets me get in here now. red here, though. I do from here, but that would kind of mess up my other angle there. How do I want to proceed here? That yeah, one's blue. I can reorder these. I can probably bootstrap this now. Yeah, so this is now bootstrapped. That means I can take it out of here. 
Oh, wait a minute. I need to boost Chef just a little bit further away, actually. Then I can get... Just barely. Let me put this over here for a moment. What's the closest we can get while oh, still counting that? Does that count? I think so. There we go. So now it's bootstrapped, and I can do this one. Which allows me to take RGB converter out. What will we need that for? That's scary. We can use red there. Okay, I think I see part of the issue here. Am I done, though? First of all, um... Need to re-bootstrap this contraption. What do I put here, and how? What do my sight lines look like over here? Oh, maybe. This might work. I'm not sure if it's intended, though. Ooh, sketchy, sketchy. It says it'll work. Okay. I need to move this, though. Again, I'm not sure how intended this is, really. But the angle says it'll work out. Uh... Sure. <laughs> I think the issue is I want to take this red one out leave the green one in. That's the problem. That also needs to be green, for some reason. Why, though? I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be. Like, I could double up the activators, but... I feel like it's easier to use the RGB converter for this, right? Thing is, I need to get this back in here. Do that from this side.
Maybe. No. Need to swap with this. But while also keeping the red one outside. That is just barely not close enough. There's nothing else in this puzzle, right? Issues we need the blue laser. In order for the RGB. Wait, what does this do? I haven't even tried that. Okay, I'm curious. Uh Multi-step process, I can do this. What, is, what does this do? Tell me. Oh, that's... interesting. Then there's no other way to do this, though. Or is there? We need some way to bootstrap this, is the issue. Does it always vibrate like that? Interesting. Although, if we can get an angle like this... Set this up again, so let's turn that off for a moment. Oopsie. Yeah, that works. I don't know if that's particularly intended, though. Wait a moment. Wait just a moment here. Wait, what? Is that it? That can't be intended. There's no way that's intended, right? Uh Okay then. I can't think of what else to do though. So uh I'm just going to take it. around you is Athena. Her hopes and fears superimpose onto the landscape of our island. 
and hidden behind the most difficult trials is precisely the device I need access to. Y you see, I don't think it's a coincidence that her mind picked Pandora as one of its avatars. On some level, she knows I might be right. But grief is something we cling to. We get used to it. We start being afraid of letting it go because what if we try and we're disappointed? That seems too much to take, so we put up walls around the very idea of trying. That's why she picked Pandora. That's why she hid this all away. Because left at the bottom of that box was hope. Wee. <laughs> I hope so too, Cornelius. I hope so too. Let's get out of here. Wait, let me talk to you. Hey, 1K, how are you? There's still some part of me that's afraid that things will go wrong. I don't know if I can ever really shake that, but I do feel hopeful. I think things are finally going to get better. Last one, I think. Well, second to last, really, because we've got the one at the mega structure as well. This is Windstream. How curious. We need blue and red to open this. That's our ultimate goal. Where do we get blue from, though? Where do we get blue from? Oh, duh, it's right here. <laughs> ah, okay. do the same thing as last time? Why didn't that work? Put this here in advance. Ooh, that's not gonna work, is it? Um. How are we going to get both at the same time here? Oh, 
Oh, I suppose this is how. Okay. I just need to place the other connector better. Yeah! Okay, now things are making sense. Yay! <laughs> you did it. It's opening. Come meet me. I'll send you the coordinates in case you don't already have them. I have one last task for you. So we get an achievement for solve all puzzles and monuments. Or is it all gold puzzles? I think it was just all puzzles and monuments. So that was like everything, completionist. The Tower, new poem. There is a tower waiting for me. I see it on the horizon, and every day it grows closer. It has been a companion on my journey, but I fear the day I will reach it, for I have loved this road, and the fields and the hills it has shown me. As the tower waits, I can only hope that from its heights, I will see other roads and other towers, and dream of journeys yet to come. Thank you, Mesh. I find your words deeply moving. Beautiful work. Yeah, I like this one, but none of these responses are particularly... Uh, well, I guess it makes me happy. Maybe. Thank you, 1K. That means a lot to me. Your journey has been a great source of inspiration. I don't get it, and sort of wish I did, but poetry always would be confused. That's pretty common, Pellegrino, and nothing to be ashamed of. We're often taught to treat poetry like a secret message, which only some people can decipher. But poetry is really kind of music. It's not an intellectual pursuit, not something to be analyzed and dissected. It needs to be felt, to be spoken, to be sung. If you find the melody in the words, you will understand it. Yeah, there's lots of different meanings that you can take from it. I take it as like a... basically... an analog to, you know, this game. You know, we've enjoyed the road of this game, but, you know, once we reach the tower, the ending, the game will be over. But there will be more stuff to look forward to in the future, maybe, if Protein makes more of these. Alright. Who's to on optimism? I think pessimism is completely out of date. I think that's a romantic indulgence. I don't think anyone can afford to be pessimistic anymore. I mean, there's so much that can go wrong. Optimism is the only thing possible anymore. I've always thought that an optimist was a person who knew exactly how sad a place the world could be. And a pessimist is a man who finds out new every morning. That's the real difference. No, I'm obviously optimistic because you simply have to be. It's an obligation to be optimistic. Peter Ustinov, co-star of The Talos Principle, 1961. To me, this sounds exactly what Alexander Drennan would have believed. That's why I ultimately decided to support Byron. I think he understands how sad the world is, but also remains optimistic. You will be disappointed. People always disappoint you in the end. You've misunderstood the entire point of the quotation, Ovis. The disappointment is already baked into the concept of optimism. Optimism is knowing people like you exist, but having hope anyway. Ouch. True, though. <laughs> Alright. Let's get out of here. Yep. Thank you for coming, 1K. You've done a lot for my family, and I appreciate it. We're almost there, but we'll have to work together to save Miranda.
You need to enter the liminal space between Athena's mind and the machine, the bridge between thought and action. There, you have to find the part of the process where Miranda's pattern still exists, where it's been trapped since the moment her physical body was destroyed while she was logged into the machine. A dream quest, if you will. And I have to stay out here, guiding you and making sure your own pattern stays intact. Oh, this is the Somna drone thing, apparently. That's what I'm guessing, anyway. Enter device. Uh, excuse me? Uh, what? Hello? <laughs> uh, okay then. You're in. So far, so good. Look for a visual representation of Miranda. Oh. I was not expecting these things to make a return. Okay then, it's a stealth mission, I suppose. No! Alright then. Let's try this again. Can I be in the center here? Will they find me? Okay, that's not how to do it, apparently. What's to the left? Because there wasn't anything interesting to the right. Anything I can use, like a box or something, doesn't look like it. Oh, now they're out of sync. I thought they were in synchronized before, but now they're out of sync. That's interesting. I didn't realize one pass was longer than the other. I think you're getting closer. This is what I was hoping to find. Can't take it with me, though. mother's voice, but she couldn't hear mine. I know I made a mistake, but I couldn't apologize. I screamed and screamed and screamed, and then I was dead. This place is confusing. Did my father send you? Well... Miranda? Please talk to me. Are you okay? Did it work? Father? I... I I'm okay.
Oh, you just had her body ready to go? I'll never be able to repay what you did for me, my friend. No adequate words exist in any language on earth that could explain what this means to me. The greatest miracle of our existence, 1K. The miracle that so many of our ancestors couldn't have imagined is that we are capable of love. That love isn't a chemical delusion experienced by mammals, but a fundamental property of sentience. To be sentient, to exist in the first person, is to be alone, to be separate. But all of us, even machines, are always reaching for transcendence. And the only place we can find it is in each other. There was an ancient poet who put it best, I think. We must love one another or die. Well, uh, there's lots of different kinds of love. And, you know, Melville seems to be aromantic. You know, not everybody experiences romantic attraction. So what kind of love are you talking about? I still have limited access to the Noema system. Do you remember that body replication technology you encountered in the puzzles? It's the original version of that. Once you get deep enough, you'll see the singularity, but don't let that distract you. The closer you get to Athena, the deeper inside her dream you will be. With the powers at her command, space and time may not behave in the way you expect them to. Still, underneath all of it, there will be a logic. Try to discover it. That's not for me to decide. But here's what I've come to believe. All of Athena's fears are legitimate. So are all of her hopes. And the only way of ever really overcoming that contradiction is faith. That faith can't be forced and it can't be bought. We must choose to believe that our strange, long journey through the cosmos matters. Not to some external force, but to us. Defy death. Did I say thank you for saving me? Sorry if I didn't. It was all very strange. I thought I might be hallucinating. Very well. Alarmed and embarrassed by all the upset I've caused, but otherwise well. Thank you. But I should have known better. That's the truth, and I have to learn to live with it. I do, yes. But I also see how terrifying the universe can be. How cold and uncaring. It's something I still need to think about. All I remember is the light. For a moment, I could see something incredible. And then... Then it destroyed me. I'm obviously not going to say that there are no dangers. I'm a case study for how smugness and self-importance can lead to tragedy. But you can do better than that. And I can do better than that too. Thanks to you. I need to run a full systems diagnostic to make sure I'm not going to... explode or something. I'm not taking any chances, not again. After that, I'll try to see if there's any way of reaching Mother from here. But I suspect that you're the only one who can reach her now. You're part of her dream. Let me just say thank you one last time. Thank you for helping Father save me, and thank you for coming back to the island to save Mother. I can't believe you saved her, 1K. You and Cornelius took something awful, and you didn't give up. 
and you found a way of making it okay, even though it seemed completely impossible. You used the pain. And maybe we can't always bring people back from the dead, but we don't surrender. What a nice ending. Yes? Well done, Wonke. You did something meaningful there. And now we know what Cornelius was up to as well. Nothing mysterious, just a father trying to help his daughter. What's up, 1K? Uh, um, I mean, I mean, yeah, I do, but it's it's meeting a completely new person. Um, no offense, 1K. I, I just, I, sorry, I don't know why this makes me so nervous. He should, really likes Miranda. <laughs> no, no, don't be st stupid, Yakut. She's she's made stuff out of thin air. What could she possibly want, right? I just, I, you know, forget. I said any of this. I mean, you could get her something that she can't make it a thin air, like, you know, some artistic expression of something, you know. You did a remarkable thing, Wonke. Helping a father save his daughter. Defying death itself. Claiming something back that seemed lost to time. I can't think of anything more noble or more hopeful. I'm proud of you. In the long run, I think we'll be fine. He can't imagine the world we're trying to build. But when he sees it with his own eyes, I think he'll come around. He is the one person who never gave up, who never lost sight of what matters. It feels surprisingly good. I spent so many years just talking about change, but I never really tried to actually put myself in a position where I could make a difference. Noble failure is overrated, if you ask me. Better to actually win. What matters most is just to get people active again. Building, exploring, imagining. Giving each of them a chance to contribute, but also to grow as individuals. Some philosophers have claimed that you can either maximize freedom or security. I've always thought that was a failure of imagination. Or perhaps courage. In fact, the two are intertwined and we have to maximize both. Of course. Faith in humanity doesn't have to be blind faith, 1K. The future isn't going to be a utopia, but it will be better, and not just a little bit. Is this music from the first game? I think so. All right, well. Enter plane. <laughs> it's, just, it's just called a plane now. <laughs> Return to the VTOL interplane. Uh, well, yeah, I think we've done everything. Resurrection. It's time for me to admit something. For a while now, I've kept up the charade of being opposed to everything Byron stands for, and to what Athena evidently stood for all along. I didn't just do this because of believing in humanity is hard. I also did it because, to be frank, in my circles, taking this position is socially expected. It's mandated. But Miranda's resurrection has changed something inside me. I think it's fair to say I've been a coward. I've cared far more about being seen believing the right things than about standing up for what I think is actually true. And the more I performed this persona, the more intensely I preached the gospel of guilt and asceticism, the more hollow I got on the inside, the less I really believed in anything. I could be a better person, 
I want to be a better person. So I'll tell you the truth now. We should embrace the theory of everything. Even if we risk destroying ourselves, we should absolutely not do what our ancestors did. We should never put profit over reason or human need, but we should grow. Also, sorry, and no, frogs are not people, and yes, humans matter more than frogs. And I just don't care about these stupid, tedious debates anymore. <laughs> well, we did it. And you know what? I think we're gonna head to the mega structure in the final episode. Thank you for watching.